Hello and thank you for joining us on this Friday afternoon. It is now time for our English Flash News edition. As usual, I'm Daniel Cook, your host here at 6 p.m., but we are pleased to keep you updated with what's going on here in Tirana and the surrounding area. In today's news, the government has submitted an official request to the energy regulator that the new energy prices be set no higher than 9.9 .9 lek per kilowatt. The Deputy Minister of Energy said that this is the average range price that was mentioned earlier by Prime Minister Eddie Brahma. Despite the claim that this price is an average one, the unions have objected very strongly to any amount of price increase. The Energy Regulation Authority has attended a hearing session with the various interest groups in order to decide on the new price of electricity. The vast majority of the civil society has requested that the price remain the same, since an increase would negatively affect a considerable number of families. The minister desires that the price should not exceed 9.9 .9 lek. On the other side of this issue, the companies that are related to the distribution or production of electricity have made requests of their own. These companies have proposed an increase that would take the price up to nearly 12 lek per kilowatt. The Energy Regulation Authority is expected to make a decision on this important matter before the end of the year. The lines at the customer service office of the energy regulator have been much longer than normal lately because a great many people have turned out to pay their backed up energy bills. Sometimes, starting as early as 4 a.m., a considerable number of people begin lining up to pay their bills or to sign new contracts. Many of these folks are complaining about the long lines and not even being able to enter the office after many hours of waiting. The number of people that have turned out to pay their bills has been staggering, and this has caused quite a backup at the office. After a few hours of waiting, various people have expressed anxiety and problems with their health. It is, now, uh, it is not difficult to see that people here are suffering just waiting in line to pay their bills, leaving aside the prices of those bills, which are far too high for most. Some people have even become angry and have caused incidents because of restlessness and the impatience caused by standing for hours outside of the custom ser customer service office. Prime Minister Adi Rama visited Shkora today to distribute some property certificates, but when he arrived there, he met with an unexpected protest. The Prime Minister was visiting Shkodra in order to distribute 700 property certificates, but things did not go as planned. Upon his arrival, the Prime Minister met with a protest that was organized by the people whose homes will be affected by the construction of the new stadium. The protest then escalated into a fight between some of the people and the police officers, who were trying to restrict the protesters from displaying their banners. One protester had this to say, The police took our banners and tore them apart. We don't want them to destroy our homes. They should find another solution to the uh, for the stadium. We are not against the construction of the stadium, but we do not want our homes to be destroyed in order to become a parking space. We are here for just a peaceful protest. Another protester urged the Prime Minister to revise the project, saying that there are other solutions that might be found that would stop their houses from being demolished. Yet another protester used even stronger words. The stadium will be built over our dead bodies. These are the homes of the people who brought democracy to this country. Because of this situation, the leaders of the police gave orders to reinforce security in the area. The people who were waiting for the Prime Minister were pleased when he gave them the property certificates. However, afterward, the Prime Minister said that the stadium will be built as planned and that the owners of the houses will be compensated for their value. After making this statement, the Prime Minister left the area, but the people continued their protest in his absence. The Democratic Party leader, Lulzim Basha, made the claim today that Albania now holds the world record for high oil prices. According to Mr. Basha, these extremely high oil prices represent a political and economic scandal. 
The opposition leader feels that the price of fuel is not likely to fall anytime soon because of the high taxes imposed by the government. He said, the oil price in Albania is a Guinness World Record. Why aren't we seeing the 40% decrease of oil prices that is being enjoyed in the global market? The reasons are simple. First are the high taxes set by the government, which are the highest in the entire region and the entire world. And second is the high level of contraband, tax evasion and informality, which is supported by the governmental mafia and its clients, which operate in the domain of producing and selling the fuel. The government allows these clients to buy oil 40% cheaper and sell it again at prices that are 40% more expensive, stated the head of the Democratic Party, Luluzim Basha. Today, the former governor of the Central Bank of Albania finally gave a statement about the huge theft that took place some time ago. Mr. Ardian Fulani was interrogated for more than two hours by the investigation team, led by the prosecutor assigned to the case. The former governor of the Central Bank of Albania has been accused of abuse of office in violation of five or more rules of the bank. According to the prosecution, his actions created just the right conditions for the money to be stolen. After being interrogated, the former governor of the Central Bank decided to break his long silence. He addressed two sentences to the journalists. He said, We were asked about the incident that happened at the Central Bank of Albania, and we gave our declarations. I am completely innocent, said the former governor of the Central Bank of Albania, our country's highest financial institution. In a very surprising event, Mr. George Soros, who is widely known to support Prime Minister Adi Rama, came to Tirana to visit the Democratic Party. The American businessman and philanthropist George Soros, who is a well-known sponsor of the Albanian left side and a supporter of Prime Minister Adi Rama, visited Tirana today. In a surprising move, he visited the Democratic Party. Ora News sources said that the conversation between the American businessman and the head of the opposition was focused on the political situation between the Democratic Party and the majority. It is also rumored that they discussed the reasons that the opposition is staying clear of the parliament. It appears that his visit to Tirana and his meetings with the political actors has the agenda of improving the conditions between the opposition and the majority. The foundation Opened Albania, which was created by him, was inve has invested in several important projects, such as European integration, the freedom of the media, and the constitutional reforms. Mr. Soros, who is of Hungarian origin, has focused his career on supporting political matters, and he has played a very important role in Hungary itself. Soros is one of the wealthiest men on earth, with a net wealth of more than $8 billion. Albania's Minister of Foreign Affairs was in Switzerland today to represent Albania in the 21st meeting of the Council of Ministers. This meeting took place in Basel, Switzerland, on December 4th and 5th. The ministers that were present in this meeting discussed the situation in the Ukraine as well as the situation in Europe. During his speech, the Albanian Minister of Foreign Affairs stated that this organization must respect the rights of all the countries in the region including Kosovo. He said, We believe that Kosovo must have its place in the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, since this country is an important part of the region. I believe that the closer Kosovo gets to this organization, the more fulfilled will be the mission of the OSCE. During his visit to Switzerland, the Albanian minister will also attend meetings with his counterparts from several countries in Europe. Despite his numerous other commitments, Prime Minister Adi Rama has found some time for one of his old passions, the art of painting. This Thursday, the Prime Minister, along with the painter Buyar Lutza, opened an exposition entitled Tomorrow the Albanians. The exposition was opened in Paris, and it has already received quite a number of visitors. The paintings of the Prime Minister were titled Documents of Office. 
This exposition was opened with the cooperation of the Albanian Embassy in France, and it will stay open until December 24th. This has been the Aura News English Edition. Thank you for watching. Please join us again tomorrow at 6 p.m. for more Albanian news in English right here on Aura News. Thank you and good night.